वेलकम टू द लेटेस्ट अपडेट प्रोग्राम द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज कॉपरनिकस इमरजेंसी मैनेजमेंट सर्विस इरानियन प्रेसिडेंट इब्राहिम राइसीज हेलीकॉप्टर क्रैश द यूरोपियन यूनियन एक्टिवेटेड इट्स रैपिड सैटेलाइट मैपिंग सर्विस टू हेल्प सर्च एफर्ट्स द रैपिड मैपिंग सर्विस इज वन ऑफ द क्रूशियल कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ द ई यूज कॉपरनिकस इमरजेंसी मैनेजमेंट सर्विस द कॉपरनिकस प्रोग्राम इज पार्ट ऑफ द ई यूज स्पेस प्रोग्राम एंड एम्स टू मॉनिटर द अर्थ एंड इट्स एनवायरमेंट बाय कलेक्टिंग डाटा फ्रॉम अ सेट ऑफ सेटेलाइट नोन एज द सेंटिनल्स It also gets data from contributing missions, existing commercial and public satellites and in situ or non-space sources such as ground stations. This data can be used for a wide range of applications such as land management, the marine environment, the atmosphere, emergency response, security and climate change. There are two components of the service, the mapping component and the early warning component. The mapping component has two modules, rapid mapping, risk and recovering mapping. The RM which has activated to look for Rice's crashed helicopter provides maps within days or hours anywhere in the world. The RRM delivers maps that are required for disaster management and not for immediate responses. It is used for prevention preparedness, disaster risk reduction and recovery. To provide maps quickly the service acquires, processes and analyzes satellite imagery, geospatial data and social media when required. Now is the time to test your knowledge. Copernicus Emergency Management Service sometimes mentioned in the news is related to which of the following National Aeronautics and Space Administration Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency China National Space Administration or European Space Agency send the answer of this question in the comment section stay tuned for more such updates For more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications